What's up, people? It's your boy Jatua, and I'm here today, and it's Friday! Thank God. Alright, so what I have before you today, uh, we keep talking about helicopters. Helicopters, helicopters, showing you helicopters, but there's a few things that we can't show you with the propellers that we have been, that are being modded in. Only real way to, to show you all of this is to take something like Inferno Robotics and to bake all that in using uh, Inferno Robotics to give you your three real things that you need for your propellers, for, for your main props. So let's start off with what we have going on here. This is Natural Lift 2. I was trying to go for a mostly stock craft, so that's what we have going on here. But uh, I actually want to add, let's add, let's add one more strut right here because I'm having a bit of flex going on uh, on liftoff of these. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay. So what you are seeing before you, this craft is built to replicate a helicopter as closely as I can discern uh, <laughs> using Inferno Robotics. Uh, I am no genius. I happen to like helicopters and I am no engineer, so... There's probably a lot of things that are outside of my realm of knowledge. Uh, I actually used, uh, I have some RCS on here, but it doesn't really help for anything. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you real quick when we get to the uh, runway is what we have going on here. So let's jump out to the runway and give you a rundown of everything. Okay, so with Natural Chopper, what we're going to do first is show you how everything is going to work. So... Let's go ahead and toggle our SAS and turn on our liquid fuel cells. So let's also bring out Inferno Robotics. You'll see we have our servo controls. Now what these are going to give you, I'm going to explain all these as best I can. There's your cyclic. Your cyclic pretty much adjusts the tilt of your, of your props. Uh, and that is going to be controlled here with my cyclic. This took a while to get to get built right so oh no 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 we already go back baby, baby, baby. okay it took me a while to get it to get to go about right so I'm very happy with the way that that turned out um, wh what I couldn't do is I couldn't go here and put a powered hinge because if I use a powered hinge it would move the body of the craft instead of the propellers themselves that was my main challenge so what I did is I took a non-powered hinge uh, non-powered hinge as you can see here a, a joint pivotron uncontrolled put it here and then I took a powered hinge and I used the powered hinge to open and close it which gives me this nice stable craft uh, so the next thing we need to go over is the rotation which is just the rotation of the props uh, the top one is going counter of the bottom, which allows me to not need a tail propeller. So it's doing its own counterbalancing. And then is my collective, which adjusts the tilt of each particular blade and allows me to adjust the lift ever so slightly. I can actually hover the, this chopper really well. Okay, let's take this bird up real quick. All right, so let's kick on our rotation. And you see really quickly, you see both propellers on how they're counter spinning. That's going to give us our stability. And then I tilt my collective up and up we go. Really easy. Uh, so the next thing is getting our, if we get a lot, we get mostly stable craft. I can actually control it using my collective. I can control how fast my vertical ascent is going to be, if at all, and gently land this thing back down. But we want to stay airborne, so I'm going to have it so it's almost at a hover. And now we're going to do our first test run of our hinge cyclic. Let's see how well this goes. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Oh! <laughs> And it looks like it's almost working. It's almost working. This is the trouble I've been running into is that, as you see here, the body wants to lift up. I'm trying to get it so the body doesn't lift up and that just the propeller is tilting because that is where I get all the problems from. So this is one of the challenges you're running to trying to make a natural chopper a one that's just using wings instead of an a built-in modded propeller 
So let's go ahead and move this back to center as we can here. And let's see if we can get ourselves going at one direction or the other. See, right now we are gently meandering in a circle here. <laughs> But it's working. It is working. We are going just not in the anticipated direction because we just are not stable enough. I technically could go in here, continue to tweak out my propeller speeds and see. I mean, I can get it down to the nth degree and see how close I can get it to make it fully stable and have no wobble side to side. But in my few days of testing this, it has not gone well. So let's get this going back to normal. And what we're gonna do is see about landing this thing. So let's go ahead and knock our collective down. And now we're coming down at 1.3. There we go, we're coming down. All right, now with, our, with us coming down ever so gently, this is a fantastic first test, uh, uh, not first, this is the first actual test of the hinge variant for my cyclic, but this is a fantastic chopper, and I love the way how it controls, it actually controls really well, I mean, you look at it, how stable it is, my hands completely got off the controls, it's able to go up and come back down, really slowly, really stable, problem is, I can't get that cyclic to work right, <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take one of the uh, one of the modded chopper blades. I'm going to stick a hinge just underneath of it, and we're going to. Sh I want to show how that cyclic could change everything because the cyclic controls your direction, your forward, backwards, uh, and your left, right. So that can, it can control your different directions. You can go nice and stable, nice and level. So it looks like we're going to be right down on the light, aren't we? Why is it always the lights? Why is it always the lights? I hate coming down always on the lights. Go away, lights. Why aren't those into the ground? It's a crash hazard. Come on. Someone mod those out. <laughs> oh, we might, we might miss them all. Gotta miss them all. Holy crapola. Wow. Now that is a close landing. <laughs> okay, so we are back. Now this one actually has a, this is the built, the, the modded one from KRX. The KH50 uh, Heron, 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 <laughs> Heron. <laughs> Main motor. And you see, this one actually does let you, it has its appropriate lift. So it's generating a good amount of thrust going downwards. What we don't have is a collective to get us to go straight forward. I'm sorry, a cyclic to get us to go pitch forward. So what we're going to do here is turn everything on. We're going to start up our props. And you'll see here, it's ever so slight. But once we start to go... It's a very stable flight. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is pitch ourselves forward. And what you'll see is without tilting our aircraft, we are now nice and stable going forward, which is exactly what we want for a chopper, a nice stable flight platform. So I've been using my choppers completely wrong in the game, which I feel a little bad because I didn't really know. I just started reading up on this uh, heavy uh, this week. Uh, I think it was like Monday. I was like, why are my choppers not flying like a normal chopper? And then I was like, oh, collective. And then, all right, pitch. All right, I got all that. Oh, the cyclic. Oh, dear. <laughs> and so this would allow you to have a chopper that is flying like a normal chopper would appear to be flying. So there you go. No need for all the uh, all the control surfaces like I was throwing on there to do all the work. No, I can actually use the cyclic pitch 
uh, the cyclic tilt on the actual propeller itself and fly straight forward nice and level look at that look how beautiful it flies like this that's freaking ridiculous people i'm telling you some great technology igor you're a fantastic guy so that is pretty much what the gist of this one was for i wanted to show you that even though we've been playing around for a lot of choppers we've been doing it kind of wrong you know we have the choppers i think the only way we'd really be able to have something like this is if someone actually modded a cyclic hinge in there or if we just all started using in front of robotics to assist our our choppers propellers and then we could actually have a nice actual chopper in the game well, I just wanted to throw that out there but if you like what you see and hit that like button drop me in the comment let me know what you think and I hope to catch you guys in the next video hopefully you learned a little something I learned a lot this weekend it was a lot of fun but I'll catch you guys later I already said that but whatever I'm out <laughs> Peace. <laughs> ah, it's got day Friday. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at our CPU usage. We are at 46, 48. <laughs> okay, so that was a little scary. That was a little scary. Alright, so that's how you lift off the water and land it.